Hey guys, and welcome to episode 8, I think it's 8, is it 8? It's 8, of the Camp Clearwater Killer. So as you saw in the last part, poor, poor Ty, uh, wasn't too great of an end for him, but still, everybody's being naive, and the girls have no clue that anything's going on. The boys might, maybe, I don't know, we haven't checked on them yet, but as you can probably tell from checking on a little Miss uh, Blonde that we're looking at. It looks like she's put on a little bit of weight, or that's what she's trying to make everybody believe, but really, as you can probably tell, she's got a little something something going on in there, and I'm sure you can guess who the father is, so we're gonna have to invite him over and tell him what's up, because he does not know and considering their relationship is frowned upon and he doesn't want people really to know they're together I don't think that's gonna go so well and his sister who actually needs to go get something to eat um, I think that she is probably a little suspicious of the whole situation because I mean come on Brittany's in her second trimester and she is definitely showing and she does not look too happy that, you know, she knows it's her brother's baby. So, she doesn't look too happy about it. And they don't have the best relationship. So, maybe if she would kind of say something to her that's not very nice. Maybe she'd just insult her like, man, you're getting fat. <laughs> just, just be mean to her because she doesn't, like, know. Like, she hasn't admitted to it yet. And then we've got Rosalie here who you know, just got engaged to, uh, oh, poor Ty, yeah. <laughs> just got engaged to Elliot, yeah. and I don't think anybody knows uh, yet, and of course, she's cleaning up after everybody, so let's go ahead and maybe share a secret, like, she'll tell Brittany, because, like, like I've said, Rosalie is friends with everybody, she's like, hey, I need to tell you something, well, we'll pretend it's an engagement ring and not pee pants, and then Brittany's like, oh my god, now she's going to be like, I need to tell you something. We'll pretend Anita can't hear them. She looks right at her. Yeah, she's like, who's the dad? She's like, um, well, it's, uh, um, I don't know, maybe Ty. And they're like, yeah, I'm sure it's Ty. Okay. We're going to go ahead and invite over the man of the hour and let him know what's going on and Rosalie uh, I don't know what Rosalie would do right now maybe she'd sit in the the jacuzzi and try to relax a little bit and then Christy of course she's still like reeling from her best friend missing so I feel like she would definitely do some uh, some research on the web to kind of look into that is Adam coming because I feel like you know this is an important thing to talk about and I don't see him is he did he say he was coming over Adam will be right over okay where are you buddy there he is so let's um, okay you can Ew, there's like gross potatoes there. So let's share the big news with him and see how he reacts. Uh, he doesn't look oh very God. happy. Oh, why are they not facing each other? Okay. Well, I mean, he didn't look very happy to begin with. And then he, oh, now he's yelling at her. She's like, no, it's our baby. Feel it. It'll be fine. He's like, I guess. So he's, he's accepting it. But you can tell their relationship's not the best. She's going to go ahead and go to bed. And we're going to have Anita come out here. Yeah, he's like lecturing her. Ooh. So we'll have her gossip. Yeah, she's not, he's not too thrilled about it. 
he looks really upset. Um, we'll have her... I wanted her to go complain about local youths. She's complaining about Brittany. It's like, look, you'll get arrested. She's of age, but, you know, you're you're breaking the law of your contract. I don't know. We'll have a deep conversation. He's like, hey, this is not my fault. And she's like, it takes two people. It is totally your fault. What would our mother say? <laughs> and he's like, money. That's all he's thinking about. Oh, good lord. Okay. Um. I mean, she'd probably yell at him for being so careless. Because now there's a baby on the way. Yeah, she's mad at him. She's yelled at him. Uh, maybe, maybe she should go get in the hot tub, too. Christy is not feeling the best. She is still very unhappy. Doing some research on the web. And I think, you know, that she's probably going to be the one to tell Adam something is happening. Like, I brought it up to you guys before and you ignored me. And now Ty is missing and Miss Brumfield's missing. Everybody's missing. And my friend died. This is something that needs to be addressed. <laughs> you nabby. He's like, oh my god, you're right. And they're probably going to have a meeting once everybody's in a better mood to discuss all of the, the things. Why are you drinking coffee instead of going to sleep? That is very frustrating to me. Go to sleep. Skylar, why don't you go eat something? She doesn't know that they're engaged yet. So that's probably going to upset her, needless to say. And if you don't know, too, Rosalie actually switched rooms with Christy. Christy is sleeping in here now. Um, I guess sleep there. Because of everything that happened, Rosalie did not want to stay in the same room as Skylar. So she moved rooms. Oh, what are they going to talk about? She's like, don't worry, we'll just tell everybody that she's gaining weight because she ate too much fast food. And he's like, oh, great. I don't know how they're going to cover it up when a baby pops out of her, but that's not our business, I guess, right? All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead a little bit until they are in better moods so that we can have our little meeting. Okay, they called everybody that would come to the campsite. Oh, Skylar and Otto. It looks like, remember, they were having a little bit of a thing before. Hmm. Looks like they're chatting. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Anyways, Christy called everyone here. So we're going to go ahead and have a little bit of a discussion about the fact that she thinks that somebody is killing people. So let's, uh, okay, we'll hang out together, first of all, so that everybody comes here. And then we'll have her tell a group story about a stowaway, I guess, because that kind of, um, you know, kind of, there's somebody here on the island who is, who's bad, who is definitely not, you know, somebody's killing somebody, basically. She's come to the conclusion that she thinks that there is a killer. So she's going to tell everyone. Are you going to tell us, Christy? Because you're the smarty pants of the group. Otto and Skylar looking a little too chummy there. Oh, look at her. Look at him. She's got a thing for older guys, I guess. Okay, Christy. The light is on you. Please tell us about your theory. <gasps> oh, no. Rosalie just Peter pants. Oh, Rosalie, sweetie. Go, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Christy is, for some reason, being very hesitant. Maybe the fire has to be lit. I don't know. Okay. Tell us a group story about 
the the killer please and thank you except for Rosalie because Rosalie is like dying okay for some reason the tell group story oh there we go there we go now she's telling us finally I thought it wasn't gonna work they're like oh my god you're right what are we gonna do everybody's like drama queen like they don't really care okay well I don't know I don't know guys Everybody needs to just go to the bathroom, I guess. Oh no, she's so embarrassed. She's telling Elliot how embarrassed she is. He's like, it's okay, you're beautiful. That's good. He's being nice to her. Okay, take a shower, use the toilet. So they're probably going to decide, would be my guess, since they think someone is killing people, that uh, they're all going to stay here together so that that does not happen. Is Brittany eating? Good. Aw, she's eating with Adam. She looks kind of pissed at him. But they're eating together. Aw. Lexi. Girl. Go to the bathroom. For the love of everything. Anita, what are you doing? You're pretty hungry. You could go get some food. So I think they're all kind of thinking that Christy might be losing it a little bit. But at the same time, they are a little suspicious about the fact, of course, Benji's on the games, about, oh, did you see that? Skylar just walked in on Rosalie and told her to get out. So rude. She's like, bish, this is my bathroom. And Rosalie's like, oh my god, whatever. She doesn't even know they're engaged yet either. Rosalie might just get all, you know, up in her face and let her know this is what's happening. I don't know why you waited so long to go to the bathroom. Or is Elliot going to tell her? What is... Oh, no. He's going to the bathroom, too. Looks like he's jamming out. I don't know. I think some of them might believe Christy, but others think they're being a little... She's being a little bit dramatic. So, they're going to stay here tonight, and hopefully all goes well. Um, people are starting to be a little suspicious of Brittany, I think. But, I mean... She's not with anybody, so they don't know whose it could be. She, what trimester is she in? She'll be in her third in five hours. She's pretty big. God, could you imagine if it was twins? All right, let's go ahead and get them set up in their tents. We will have, um, I feel like, I feel like Skylar would definitely take this one and Lexi, who actually needs to eat. Hopefully she is eating. Okay, she's going to go eat. Brittany, I feel like she would probably just sleep in one of these. Um, of course, oh, Adam, I can't put in. I would say Adam gets the big tent, but he is not here. Rosalie would not want to sleep right next to Skylar. So we'll have her sleep. Well, let's have her woohoo with Elliot so that they sleep in the same tent. And then Christy could sleep over here. And then we'll put Anita in the big tent like she's sharing it with her brother. And that way everyone is staying here nice and safe together as a group so that no one else gets harmed because that is the last thing they want. Because there's a killer out on the loose. Nobody suspects that it could be somebody at their camp. The question is, is it somebody at their camp or is it a stranger? Did they woohoo? No because somebody took their tent. Woohoo with Elliot. She's so tired. Why'd they go all the way to the kitchen? I love her and Elliot together. They're so cute. Let's just hope they're not next on the hit list. They could be. You never know. You never know, or they could be the killers. All right. Uh, let's see. Lexi, you can come sleep. They're two to a tent, right? I mean, she should be able to sleep in the same tent as her best friend. Otto, hopefully, is going to go to sleep. I wish I could, can, like, switch between households, but I can't. All right. So everyone is going to sleep, and... Hopefully, they will be ready for whatever the day brings them tomorrow. 
and hopefully everyone stays safe through the night.